What's up and welcome to another episode of Gizmo Slip Tech. Today we're taking a look at the Zephyrus G14. Now I've got all of the specs and details and I got to get hands on with the Zephyrus G14 and even play some games on it when I was at the Nvidia booth. I also wanna mention I've got tons of hands on videos already posted as YouTube shorts on my Gizmo Slip Tech channel. There's a link in the description down below. I've already posted videos of the Razer Blade 18, Alienware X16, Asus Tough Notebooks, and I've got a bunch more hands-on videos that I'll be posting as shorts. The new G14 features RTX 3050, 4050, 4060, 4070, 4080, and 40. 90 variants. Yes, there is a crap ton of variants for the Zephyrus G14. Now I only saw two processors. We got the Ryzen 9 7940HS and the Ryzen 9 7935HS. Both of these are eight core 16 thread CPUs. And I confirmed with Asus that the reason for this is because AMD's five nanometer process is just more power efficient. And usually AMD CPUs also have better battery life. Now these Ryzen 7000 series CPUs are gonna be no slouch in this chassis and they may not perform quite as well as maybe Intel in multi-core rendering with all those extra cores that Intel has, but they are still plenty fast for general productivity, content creation, and could be even better than Intel for gaming. We'll have to see. I'm guessing it's gonna vary a lot depending on the game and which game engine each game is running on, uh, but we'll have to wait for official benchmarks to tell which CPU is actually better for gaming in 2023. But one one thing is clear, you're gonna get great frame rates with AMD or Intel, whichever CPU you go with this year. Another great improvement for the G14 is the 165 Hertz 16 by 10 QHD display with up to 600 nits peak brightness. And the display has a very fast 3MS response time, at least that's what Asus is claiming. Now this really shores up one of the greatest weaknesses the G14 had in the past, which was a slower response time for the display. All of these things put together should mean the G14 is an excellent all around laptop. One very important thing to keep in mind that when you buy this laptop, you will need to choose between the mini LED option or the anime matrix option since Asus cannot put both in such a thin laptop lid. They did actually show me what the LEDs look like in the anime matrix behind the plastic. It's kind of cool, but just know that when they use mini LEDs, they're basically turning the anime matrix um, LEDs backwards to face towards the anime matrix. So when you're using them on the display, they're flipped forwards and enhancing the display quality instead. Now Asus has included not just a MUX switch, but also advanced Optimus. And this is for all of Asus's laptops across their entire lineup, which I think is just fantastic. I still remain skeptical of advanced Optimus because of the bugginess I have seen from it in the past. So do keep that in mind. Now the chassis overall seems largely unchanged this year. We still have the same keyboard, the same layout, but I do wish Asus would make the backlight of the keyboard even brighter, or maybe as a per key RGB potentially, since this layout is used a lot on their other machines. And I just feel like this keyboard in general feels good to type on, but it doesn't look as snazzy as some of the competitor keyboards or what you get on some of the other Asus laptops. Now the G14 has a webcam this year and it also includes Windows Hello cameras for logging in, which I really like. And you can still use the fingerprint sensor to log into Windows with a single press when you turn the laptop on, at least if it fully registers your fingerprint when you press the button. So you gotta be careful in how you press it and do it consistently with a dry finger. On the right side, we have a micro SD card slot, a USB-C with display port, two USB 3.2s. On the left side, we have a headphone port, another USB-C with display port looks like, and an HDMI. Overall, I can't speak to the G14's raw performance and benchmarks until I get the laptop in hand and I'm able to benchmark it, but it's quite clear that the G14 will be one of the best portable gaming laptops in 2023. That's it for this episode of Gizmo Slip Tech. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one. Brandon out.